So on behalf of the RCM MRD Governing Council, staff and my own behalf, a warm welcome once again to RCM MRD, which is your home. And as many now refer it to it as the home of GIS and remote sensing on the continent, always feel free whenever you are within the precincts of this uh, organization. Indeed, calling RCM MRD a continental geo home is in accord with the vision of its founders who almost 50 years ago envisioned a center that would champion the application of geospatial information and technologies in not only addressing pressing national issues, but also spur development across the continent. So we hope we are living to that ideal and the presence of our governing council members here is testimony to that. It is in line with that vision that the center, together uh, with our esteemed partners, many of whom are here today, that the center has continued to provide services, tools, data, and information derived from Earth observations and allied IC technologies to support decision making in various areas uh, such as uh, agriculture and food security, weather and climate, water resources management, disaster management, land use and ecosystems, land information management, to mention just but a few. This we do through project implementation, and as I said, many of the partners we have here through their presentations and the exhibition that we have, you'll be able to learn some of the important transformative projects that we're implementing across uh, the African continent. We do capacity building uh, both to people already in their jobs, but as you have realized, we also have a growing institute at the center here that is offering cutting edge uh, training in our fields of surveying, cartography, photogrammetry, GIS, etc. The RCTI that has been growing over the past few years and now has a population of over 800 students undertaking different diploma and certificate courses. Uh, besides project implementation and capacity building, we also do work with you to undertake critical research uh, initiatives to answer some of the pressing problems on our continent and in our countries. So as we face these global challenges, how can we prepare? How can we work towards this concept of resiliency? How can we find a sustainable future? And as you have all in your own paths come to this concept of remote sensing, of GIS, of geography-based systems, um, I would suggest that this is a critical technology. This is a fundamental technology for the future of humanity, for the well-being of biodiversity on this planet, for the systems that sustain all of us. How can Earth observation and geospatial technology support planning and implementation of robust and resilient social systems? On services, we are living in an information explosion age where data and information sharing is much more open thanks to the internet and the whole array of technologies collecting data about our planet. But to be useful, Data must be translated into information that helps to solve problems. Therefore, I do hope that RIC 2022 will also provide a platform for innovative ways to translate data from satellites and other sources to products that solve societal challenges and problems. So our mission is transforming African communities through sustainable technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you now see where our vision with RCMRD gets points of convergence. At Fahari Aviation, we offer services in aerial mapping, in photogrammetry, in GIS, in cartography, but mostly through use of technology. Digital technologies such as geospatial and earth observation technologies are key drivers of sustainable development 
and economic growth in developing countries such as Kenya. These technologies cut across decision-making support, land and soil suitability and capability analysis, resource allocation, land use planning, revenue collection, and early warning systems for mitigation of disasters and risks, identifying and monitoring natural resource use and propose adequate information for policy related solutions. From sustainably managing the environment and mitigating climate change to developing resources and unleashing agricultural potential, Africa must overcome a number of challenges to meet the needs of its fast-growing population. And this power of collaboration will ensure that we continue to strengthen our capacity building. Um, we make the difference in the lo respective local and regional areas as well. In fact, such collaborations offer opportunities for countries across the continent to engage and leverage the power that we have you know, with our natural resources as Africa, as the continent. And to date, RCMRD remains a very active and engaged implementing partner. And our commitment to a long-held successful relationship is one that we look forward to nurturing for many years to come. Um, in my language, um, I will say, uh, But this is sort of a symbol of our long-standing commitment to the partnership that we have with IUC, uh, with RCMRD, and other related uh, partners in this uh, meeting today. Uh, 20 years ago, I used to work at uh, USA. It used to be at Kasarani here. This used to be a very small complex. Uh, but seeing this monumental growth is really a fantastic testimony of the important work that you do and the trust and belief and expectation that all these stakeholders have vested on you and uh, you are very uh, dynamic council. The theme of this year uh, conference reflecting on resilient social systems is very important as Africa uh, accelerates its economic and digital transformation. So today I'm here to say that uh, we are witnessing uh, that African government and other sector of society have become more increasingly aware of the importance of Earth observation, geospatial science and technology as a tool to facilitate spatial data collection, uh, access, analysis and use in the decision making processes of nationally as we have here this morning and also we are the regional arm of the United Nations in the, in the African continent and we are, have been supporting the development of mapping, cartography national spatial data infrastructure, integrated geospatial frameworks in the continent for the last 50 years. And let me also say for those who don't know that the RCMRD has been created under the auspice of the ECA in the 1975. And the shield has grown and has even become more bigger than the, than the father. And as a father, we are very proud of that. We are proud of seeing how uh, uh, the representative of USA and has said it in the right manner, has Archimedes has grown to become something that we all today must be proud of. So